Hi everybody. We are going to begin our yoga class today starting in a comfortable seated posture. As we come to honor the essence of the hummingbird, I invite you to find your gentle position and feel the lightness within your being. So as you ground down, feel the essence continue to connect you to Mother Earth and also to allow you to rise up to Father Sky. As you feel that energy within you, feel the allowance of joy that flows through the body effortlessly streaming through you. And then let your hands come to your heart center with grace and with gratitude. As we come to open this practice, we bow our heads to our hearts and we hold this posture for a moment as we feel our heart center vibrating, radiating and fluttering like the hummingbird. From this place, we call in the essence of the sweet divine hummingbird. We invite you, Siwakente, we invite you, Kolibri, to be here with us, to guide us on this journey of awakening to our own light, to our own divinity, to seeing the truth of who we are. We ask you to show you through your gifts and your wisdom of joy, harmony, and bliss. We call upon you in this practice, in this class, to show us the light of your medicine, to show us the essence of presence. May we be present with every breath and every movement. May we flutter with you and may we taste the sweetness of the beauty that is around us. With gratitude, we call you in and we thank you. Aho. Taking a deep cleansing breath in and a cleansing breath out. and letting our intentions fill ourselves with the sound of Om resonating out to all beings everywhere. Om. And gently opening the eyes feeling yourself fully present and awake and alive for this practice. As we inhale, we'll float the arms up overhead. And as we exhale, we'll gently let them float down, gracing our hearts once again with the awakened presence within. Inhaling again, let the arms float up overhead, smiling and feeling the joy start to emanate through your being, through every cell, every tissue, as the hands flow to the heart. And one more time, inhaling, Feel yourself balanced, alive, and feeling the harmony of all that surrounds you in this moment, within and without. Let the hands float down. And as the hands come to the heart this last time, we'll gently shift our weight forward, coming to hands and knees, stepping the knees back slightly, and shifting the hips back into a modified child's pose just for a moment, keeping the forehead up off the floor. And as you inhale, gaze forward, open up the heart, and just feel yourself radiating this sense of joy. Exhale, lowering down, dropping the forehead slightly. And then inhale, lifting up, and feel yourself starting to find the movement within guiding you from the essence of the hummingbird. Feel this being a way that you can let the movement flow through you. Stillness in motion, motion and stillness being present with every part of every breath as the hummingbird teaches us. We'll take one more movement like this as we begin to make our way gracefully moment to moment, breath to breath, up to standing. We'll start by curling our toes here, spreading our fingers wide, extending the legs back behind us and lifting the hips up to the sky. As we come into down dog here, keep that movement flowing now, coming to plank position as you inhale and then exhaling, pressing back to down dog. Inhale, coming forward, finding the gentle ease and flow in your movements and exhale, kissing the nectar tasting it, tasting all the sweetness of your postures, of your movement, inhaling forward to plank and exhaling, pressing back. Last time, inhale, find your weight forward, align shoulders over wrists, and then exhale, pressing back, holding here for a couple breaths. Allow yourself to walk out in place here. Feel what it is to connect your inner being, that inner light, that essence within you that knows that everything is already in divine perfection. This is the lesson of the hummingbird. As we exhale, we'll sink down in the heels a little bit further and then inhaling, walking the hands back toward the feet. 
gently hanging here for a few moments, maybe letting the hands rest on the floor, on the shins or on the thighs, or even grabbing elbow to elbow as you let yourself just relax here, flowing side to side. Feel the essence of your hummingbird dropping down all the nectar, all the nectar of your being, feeding yourself now, dropping in. As we come up, we're gonna slowly make our way by releasing the hands if they're holding the elbows, bending the knees and rolling up through the spine, one vertebra at a time, taking your time to find the lightness, the joy and the bliss in every part of the movement in the spine. And as you rise up, let the shoulders roll up and back and down and around, bending slightly in the knees. Again, roll the shoulders up and back and down and around. One more time, inhaling fully, express yourself, touching every part of this experience. Now rolling the shoulders the other direction, inhaling up and forward and back and down, feeling the joy that is all around you, inhaling and exhaling. Take it all in. Make those movements a little bit bigger now. Maybe the elbows come up and around, the arms come up and around. Let yourself flow in your own natural state of freedom, of joy, of bliss and harmony. Ah, and floating the other way, let the arms float up and around and back and down. Up and around and back and down. Feel the lightness and the bliss as you open up your heart to this day, to this experience, to this moment. As we come up this last time, we'll let the hands stay down this time and we'll just take gentle curves through the spine, through the cervical spine, gentle circles around in one direction. And then letting the wrists come into play here as well. So as you're curling and spiraling the neck around, let the wrist spiral as well, gently finding your own movement, your own sense of lightness and bliss. Now coming the other direction when you're ready, starting to <clears throat> turn the direction of your neck the other way and the wrist the other way. See what happens when you can stay as present as possible with every part of every movement. Good, and then inhale, let the arms float up overhead. We're gonna step our right foot back behind us, reaching for the left wrist, extending through the side body. And as we press weight down into that left foot and find our stability, we let a little bit of weight come into the outer edge of that right foot. Take a nice long lateral extension here, maybe gazing up toward the sky, opening up the heart, inhaling. And exhale, coming back to center. Float the arms up as you inhale, stepping the left foot back behind now, coming to the outer edge of that left foot and holding on to the left wrist as you reach around, opening up the heart, maybe gazing up. Taking this moment to feel into your own bliss, your own callings, all that you are here to do on this earth in this lifetime. Finding your gifts and your passions here and preparing ourselves with joy and bliss to take it out to the world. Exhale, come back to center. Lower the arms down and let the knees bend slightly. We're going to inhale and swoop the arms up to Utkatasana or seated chair pose. As we sink down here for a moment, just take a nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, we'll let the, let the arms swoop down and back. As we straighten out the legs behind us, let the chin drop toward the chest, reach the arms back. Slow breaths, inhaling, coming up, rolling up through the spine, come back to chair pose. And exhale, come to stand, let the arms float back behind you, a gentle arch in the spine as you reach back. Inhale again, swoop the arms up, chair pose, coming to lengthen through the spine. And exhale, coming to forward fold, engaging through the abs as you draw the arms back behind you and straighten out the legs. Inhale, reaching back up, to chair pose, extending through the fingertips. And exhale, a gentle arch in the spine as the legs straighten and the arms reach back, lifting up the heart toward the sun. Inhale, swoop the arms down, come to chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, swoop the arms down and back, straighten out the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, reaching up, bending the knees back to chair pose, Uttanasana, or Utkatasana. And exhale, coming to stand, mountain pose, lifting the heart. Ah, Tadasana. One more time together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, swooping up. Exhale, reaching back. 
This time moving a little bit faster, inhale, exhale back, inhale up, exhale, extend, inhale, chair, exhale, swoop it back, inhale, chair, exhale, arch and open, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, feel the joy, inhale, and exhale, a little faster, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hold it here, reach the arms back, flutter your fingers, flutter your wings, feel the essence of your hummingbird, and exhale, lower the arms down, bend the knees, and start to shake it out. Let go of any energy that you might be holding on to as we prepare to move into our vinyasa part of our practice. We really want to let go and find the juiciness, the rasa, the sweetness here. So let yourself be freed of any stagnant energy here. Shake it out, move it out, jump it out, move around your mat. Feel free to get off your mat and move the arms, flutter your little hummingbird wings, knowing that this practice is not about the destination. It's about the journey. It's about the experience of being present within it. So as you feel ready, we're going to go ahead and come to bring our feet together, our knees together, and our hands at our heart center and come back to that intention of allowing the essence of the hummingbird, the medicine of colibri, to fill us with joy, with bliss, with the teachings of harmony and balance. May we listen to the joy within and may we find our callings and our gifts with every breath, may we feel the joy of who we are and who we are here to be in this lifetime. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, let out all the air. Ah. Coming into Surya Namaskara B, floating the arms down, swooping them up overhead, Utkatasana. Exhale, floating the hands forward, coming down to touch the earth, grounding in Utkatasana. Inhale, lifting up, half lift here. As we exhale, we'll bend the knees and plant the hands and step the feet back to a high lunge, lowering down either knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga, coming to your, this practice in your own pace, lifting up Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose, and then exhale, rolling over the knees, pressing back through the toes, coming to Down Dog. As we inhale, we'll lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, stepping that foot through between the hands, grounding down in that back heel at 45 degrees, squaring off hips and shoulders. As you feel ready, come up, find yourself engaged in the journey, reaching all the way up to warrior one. Reach back and open up your heart, lift up into the light that you are, and then exhale with a smile, let the hands float down. Frame the right foot and step the foot back to meet the left. Lower down, either knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale, floating through to cobra lifting the heart open, and exhale, curling over the knees and the toes, pressing back to down dog. Inhale, sending the left foot up, extending that light up through the toes, and exhale, stepping through between the hands, grounding down in the back heel at 45 degrees, pressing down and lifting up, finding that light again, reaching up into your warrior one. Feel the essence of your beauty shining forth from the heart, and as you're ready, exhale, releasing that back foot and sending the left foot back to meet the right, lowering down knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale through to cobra, lifting the heart open, and exhaling over the toes to down dog. Taking five breaths here, holding, finding your alignment, and knowing that as you feel any challenges, any difficulties here in this practice, the essence and the teaching of the hummingbird is to allow ourselves to move through the difficulties with as much grace and beauty as we can, finding that grace within, finding it within your heart, and knowing that your heart already knows the answer. So as you feel the challenges, know that you will move through it with your own divine grace. Take a nice deep breath in. Come up on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. And as you come to the end of that exhalation, step or jump between the hands. Inhale, look up, find length in the spine. Hands resting on the floor or on the shins. And then exhale, forward fold here. Take a deep bend in the knees, come back to Utkatasana. Smile as you open up the heart. And exhale, the hands back to the heart. Samastitahi. Continue that movement. Inhale, floating the arms up overhead, coming to chair position. Exhale, floating forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lifting up, lengthening through the spine, grounding down through the hands, pressing back to Chaturanga. 
jump or walk back, and then inhale through to cobra or now up dog if that feels good in your practice. Exhale, rolling over the toes or knees as you make your way to down dog. Inhale as you step the right leg up to the sky. Let it float through between the hands as if you're stepping through a garden of flowers, ground down in that back heel, and then inhale, let your grace float you up to the sky for one breath. Exhale, floating back down. Send that right foot back to meet the left and lower down with ease and grace, letting the hummingbird teach you the essence of joy as you come through to up dog or cobra and teach you the essence of harmony as you come back to down dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up to the sky. Exhale, stepping that foot through between the hands grounding down in that back foot, feeling yourself in that garden of flowers come up and feel every reason to be happy, every reason to be joyful. Exhale, scooping down, sending that left foot back to meet the right, lowering down knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale through to cobra or up dog, and exhale over knees and toes to down dog. Taking your time here, taking five nice long breaths, feeling what you are inviting into your life. What is the beauty that you want to create here and now? Know that you have the power of creation within you. What does your inner being want to call forth? What are your gifts inspiring you to carry into this world? Take one more breath as you feel the beauty of your heart growing even bigger with every breath. Inhale, come up on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. And step, walk or jump the feet between the hands. Inhale, look up and find length in the spine. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, deep bend in the knees, swooping the arms up, Utkatasana. And exhale, hands to the heart center, Tadasana. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, let out all the air, returning to the essence of the hummingbird. One more time, Surya Namaskara B, letting the arms float up overhead, Utkatasana, seated chair pose. Exhale, flowing through the heart center, Namaste, Uttanasana. Inhale, looking up, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, planting the hands, stepping, walking, or jumping. Back to Chaturanga, or lower down, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, floating through to Up Dog or Cobra, lifting up through the heart center. Feel that radiance shining forth as you exhale, press back to Down Dog. Find your grace as you inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, stepping that foot through into the flower garden reaching that back foot down, grounding in. See the essence of your beauty as you carry that light up with you and ground down at the same time and then exhale. Give that light back to Mother Earth and step the right foot back to meet the left. Lower down knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale, flowing through to up dog or cobra. Lift the heart open and smile. Exhale through to down dog, letting your heart open as you reach it back towards the thighs. Inhale, let the left leg reach up to the sky now. As you exhale, step that foot through between the hands, ground down in that back foot behind you. Feel yourself gathering the essence of the earth, the essence of the flowers as you come up into warrior one. And exhale, come and bring it back down as you kiss the earth and send the left foot back to meet the right. Lower down knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale through to up dog and exhale over the toes to down dog. Taking a few breaths here in your down dog feeling your hands spread nice and wide, your shoulders drawn back away from the ears, the hips pressing up to the sky behind you, and the legs strong and straight as you press the heels down into the earth. Feel your stability grounding you and your light lifting you at the same time. Take one more breath here. Inhale, come up on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward, and step, walk, or hop the feet before the hands. Inhale, gaze up, lengthening through the spine, and exhale, forward fold, holding here for a moment. As you inhale, swoop the arms up, Utkatasana, gazing up, gazing up at the thumbs, open up your heart, and exhale, bringing the hands back into the heart. Taking a moment to pause here and feeling what you are calling into your life, feeling the beauty that you are able to create through opening the heart, through your receptive nature. Allow yourself to be fully present in this practice as much as possible. Rather than seeking out something outside of you, allow yourself to be present for what is ready to emerge from within you. Let yourself be fully present as we move into our standing sequence. Allow yourself to move gracefully, easefully, and if at any time you need to take a break, feel free to drop into child's pose or rest in your own easeful way. 
gently coming back to the essence of the hummingbird, dropping the head toward the heart and feeling the heart lifting up into the hands. Feel the heart open, your light shining forth. The beauty, the bliss, and the harmony that resides all around you is here to guide you, fluttering before us, guided by the hummingbird, gently releasing the hands down. As we inhale, we'll let the arms float up overhead. Take a gentle curve in the spine here, lifting the heart even further, engaging through the abs, engage Mula Bandha, feel yourself fully supported here, and then exhale from that place of support. Allow yourself to dive forward to touch the earth. Inhale, look up and find length in the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, step, walk, or float back to Chaturanga. As you come down to Chaturanga, take your time and gently swoop up to Up Dog or Cobra, and exhale over the knees or toes to down dog. We're going to inhale our right leg up to the sky. And as we exhale, we'll step it through into that beautiful garden of flowers, grounding down through that back heel. As we inhale, we'll float up and reach the light up to the sky, carrying it with you. And from here, we're gonna open up into warrior two. So sink down into that right knee, take your gaze over the right hand, sink down a little bit further, make sure that the right knee is aligned over the outer edge of that right foot. That back heel is pressing out away from you, outer edge of the foot is grounding into the earth. Feel the softness here. Flutter your fingers a little bit and feel the lightness of your being. Take it a little bit less seriously and find the joy in every breath and every movement. As we inhale, we'll turn that right palm up and swoop back. Extend your light from the hip all the way to the right fingertips. Flutter those fingers a little bit more. And as you feel your radiant divine nature lifting you up, let it carry you up. As you start to straighten out that right leg, come back to center. Turn the right foot forward to face the left so both foot, feet are facing in slightly. The hands can come back to the sacrum. Elbows draw back as we open up the heart. Let your light shine forth as you exhale and begin to slowly forward fold into a wide-legged forward fold. The hands can stay at the hips or they can reach down to the ankles or they can rest on the floor. Wherever you are, allow yourself to enjoy the beauty of all that is. Enjoy your body, enjoy your breath, enjoy the mind, enjoy the moment. Letting go of any attachments to the way you think the, thing, the posture should feel and letting yourself be fully present. Letting these beautiful baby wings take flight and allowing yourself to begin again. Use this beginner's mind anytime you feel the struggle. Listen to what the hummingbird has to teach you. As you feel ready, release the hands back to the waist if they're not there already. Come up about halfway as you inhale. Engage through the thighs as you exhale here. And then inhale, come all the way back up, starting to turn that right foot back out away from you. Grounding down again, bending that right knee, opening the arms back up to warrior two. Gaze over that right hand and gently bending that right elbow, we'll swoop the left arm down and around and find ourselves here in our extended side angle. So as you reach overhead, feel that one nice long line extending from the left foot to the left hip to the shoulder all the way to the fingertips and then flutter those fingers. Feel the joy as you open up the heart. From here, we'll let the elbow rest here on the thigh gracefully and softly, or you can take that right hand down to the inner thigh and keep that extension opening up as we press the thigh or the leg into the arm and the arm into the leg at the same time. Wherever you are, honor your body, honor your breath, and honor that you are exactly where you're meant to be in this moment. Smile into your heart as you inhale. And then exhale, gaze down, frame that right foot and step that right foot back to meet the left, lowering down knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale through to up dog or cobra, roll the shoulders back, engage light through the heart and exhale over the knees or toes as you make your way back to down dog. Inhale now, left leg rises up, lifting it up to the sky. Exhale, stepping through that beautiful garden of flowers, ground down in that back heel, and lift up, take the nectar, take the sweetness and the juiciness with you up to the sky to warrior one. And as we exhale, we're gonna open up to warrior two. So as you come into your warrior two, sink down in that left knee and allow the knee to rise over the outer edge of that left foot. Back foot is grounded down, outer edge of the foot is in the earth, down toward the heel. Feel that line of energy, your perfect alignment as you gaze over the left hand and find the sweetness in your heart. Flutter the fingers, smile into your heart. Trust that you are exactly where you're meant to be. Feel this moment radiating within you and then turn the left palm up 
reach it back, keep diving deep into that left knee, find the extension through the side body from the hip, through the rib cage, intercostal muscles, and all the way through to the fingertips. Keep that energy flowing, flowing, and fluttering. Feel yourself moving toward your callings, towards your gifts. Take one more breath here, inhaling. As we exhale, we'll start to straighten out that left leg, turn the left foot in to meet the right. So both toes facing each other, hands come back again to rest here at the sacrum as we open up the heart, press the hips forward, find yourself engaging through your abdominals to support yourself. And then from that support, slowly begin to forward fold, dropping gently over the legs again into a wide-legged forward fold. As you come down this time, bring the hands down to the earth, straighten out the arms, let the left hand rest in the center and take a gentle twist as you reach that right arm up overhead, keeping the hips as square as possible. So notice if that right hip begins to jet out and try to pull back slightly to keep the hips parallel to the floor. Keep the energy reaching, keep your light shining from the heart all the way to the fluttering fingertips, your fluttering baby wings as you exhale. Let the right hand come down to where the left hand was. Pressing into the earth gently, slowly rise up. Taste the sweet nectar of life as you experience the bliss in every moment, in every part of this posture, squaring off the hips, slowly extending from that hand on the floor to the hand in the sky. Feel yourself in perfect divine alignment. Inhaling here. And as you exhale, draw the left hand back down to meet the right. Inhale, come up on the fingertips, extend through the spine. Exhale, take the hands to the waist, ground down through the feet, pull up through the kneecaps and inhale back up. As you come back up, we're going to turn that left foot out to face the side and sink back down into our warrior two. Dropping down, taking your time here and then letting the elbow bend as it rests along that leg line and swooping the right arm overhead into our extended side angle here again. Utita Parsvakanasana. As you lengthen through the side body, notice the right foot is grounding down still through the outer edge, and that energy is allowing us to align all the way through to the fingertips. Again, fluttering that energy up and out. Feel your heart expanded. As you'd like to stay here, if you'd like to stay here, you can leave the elbow resting gently on the thigh, or you can let that left hand come down to the inside of the left foot, and finding that gentle pressing of the the leg against the arm and the arm against the leg to find your balance, finding divine harmony, finding presence, finding joy with every breath. Feel the juiciness that you are creating in your own experience. Take one more breath as you inhale and gaze up and then exhale, gaze down, plant the hands to either side of that left foot and send the left foot back to meet the right. Lower down either knees, chest and chin or chaturanga and then inhale through to cobra or up dog. Roll the shoulders back, shine the light of the heart forward, and exhale, roll over the toes, and find yourself back in down dog. Taking five nice long breaths here, feeling yourself lightening your load with every breath. Allow yourself to listen with your heart. What is your calling? What is it that you are here to allow to happen within this lifetime? What is the energy that you are bringing forth? On your next inhalation, Step the feet forward or walk or jump them between the hands. Inhale, look up and lengthen and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, keeping the legs straight, rise all the way up with the flat back, pressing down through the feet, lifting up. Come into a gentle back bend and exhale, the hands to the heart. Samasti Tahi. Coming back to this intention, coming back to the light within our heart, guiding the way, feeling the energy of the hummingbird, teaching us the wisdom of presence, of divine light, teaching us how to live every moment in joy. Releasing the hands when you're ready, open the eyes and let your heart shine forth again as you reach up, gather your energy and extend back into a gentle back bend, engaging through the abs, let that energy carry you all the way to touch Mother Earth. Inhale, lighten your load as you lift up, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step walk or jump back to Chaturanga. As you come back to Chaturanga, lifting the heart open as you inhale and exhale over the toes, drawing back to down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up to the sky. Exhale, we'll step that foot into the garden of flowers before us, grounding down in the back heel. Inhale with hip square, shoulder square, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, showing up 
with every moment. Warrior two, inhale, turn that right palm up, reaching back, feel how much more present and joyful you can be. Exhale, straightening out that leg, turning the left foot forward or the right foot forward to face the left. Hands come behind you as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold, wide-legged forward fold. Hands stay on the hips, reach down for the ankles or rest on the floor. Wherever you are, inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, hands back to the waist. Inhale all the way back up. And exhale, turn the right foot out again, bending in that right knee, coming into warrior two. Exhale, right elbow drops to right knee, swooping that left arm up overhead. Feel free to stay here or dropping the right hand down to the inside of that right foot. Final option here is to come into a bind where you can take that right arm underneath the right leg and let that left hand come back and around to meet it. So as you find your bind, lift the heart open, roll that right shoulder or that left shoulder back. Feel yourself really radiating the bliss and the beauty of this moment. Good. If you feel comfortable here, you can stay right here. And if, you, if you'd like, you can step that left foot forward, coming into our peak pose today, hummingbird of paradise, stepping and grounding into that left foot and slowly start to feel that right foot peel away from the earth. As you come into this posture, you're going to reach that right leg up to touch the sweetness, to touch the juiciness, touch the flowers that are around you. Feel the beauty and the radiance that is here, that is available to you, and gaze over that left shoulder. Wherever you are in any variation of this posture, honor this moment. Smile into your light. If you're binding here in Hummingbird of Paradise, we're going to begin to bend that right knee, stepping the foot back down, gently releasing the left foot back, bringing our right foot down to the inside of the foot, Swooping that left arm back overhead. Hold here for one nice long breath. And then exhale. Both hands come down to frame the right foot. Step the foot back to meet the left. Lower down, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale through to cobra or up dog. Roll the shoulders back. And exhale over the knees or toes to down dog. Good. From here, we'll lift the left leg up to the sky. Reach the fluttering of the toes up nice and high. And then exhale, step that foot in to the garden. Ground down through that back heel. Find yourself perfectly aligned here. Taste the sweetness of life as you begin to rise up. Lift the energy up. And as you exhale, open up to warrior two. Feel yourself fluttering out through the fingertips, tasting all the juiciness and creativity in your life. Let that left arm reach you back. Keep pressing down and out through that left knee. And as we exhale, we'll straighten out the left leg. Turn that left foot in to face the right. Inhale, hands come behind you as you open up the heart. And exhale, slowly guide yourself forward, aligning right over the center of your body, holding here at the hips or at the heels, or hands come into center. If the hands are in the center, you can lift up, keeping the left hand in the middle, reaching the right arm up for just one nice long breath. And exhale, floating down. Feel your creativity moving. Right hand comes into the center. Left hand reaches up. Light yourself up with your own creative bliss. Exhale, floating down. Inhale, come up on the fingertips. Open up the heart. Exhale, hands come to the hips. And inhale, come all the way back up to center. As we exhale, we'll turn the left foot out to face the side of our mat or front of our mat and sink down into that left knee. Arms come out to the sides in warrior two. Exhale, elbow bends, right arm swoops overhead. Coming into our side extension, extending from that left heel all the way to the fingertips. Feel free to stay here. Or option two, resting the left hand down inside of the left foot. If you'd like to take it to that next level, you can swoop that left arm underneath, binding, opening up the right shoulder, drawing it back. Open up your heart and smile into this posture. And feel free to stay right here. Or if you'd like to come into our hummingbird of paradise, step the right foot forward and then slowly begin to peel that left foot off the ground. Line yourself up with the energy that you want to create. Feel yourself extending that light out. Touch the sweetness with that left foot as you extend it out to the trees, to the beautiful flowers, to the essence of the nectar and the juiciness that surrounds you. 
Take your time to gaze over the right shoulder. Keep lifting up through the heart. Keep smiling and enjoying this moment. Touch that sweetness. How much more light and beauty can you bring into your life? Lift up into that joy and then exhale. If you're binding here in Bird of Paradise, slowly begin to bend that knee, stepping the left foot down, coming out of our hummingbird posture, taking the left hand to the inside of the foot as we step the right foot back and then swooping that right arm back overhead. Hold here for a couple breaths, realign, lengthen, inhaling here, and then exhaling, gazing down, framing the left foot, step the left foot back to meet the right, lower down, knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale through to up dog or cobra, and exhale over the toes to down dog. Taking a few deep breaths here, aligning, spreading the fingers nice and wide, Aligning that energy out to the shoulders and up to the hips, and then aligning the hips all the way down to the heels. Honoring this moment exactly as it is, without wanting it to be any other way. Enjoy the presence, the experience of this very moment. Take one more nice deep breath here, and then inhaling, coming up on the toes. Exhale, gazing forward, looking between the hands, step walk, or float the feet between the hands. Inhale, look up and lengthen. And exhale, forward fold here. On an inhalation, we'll press strong through the feet. Extend up through the legs. Open the arms nice and wide. Extend the wings all the way up to the sky in a gentle back bend here. And then exhale, the hands back to the heart. Feeling yourself fully present, alive and awake. Asking the hummingbird, for more guidance in honoring what you've been taught so far, what you've learned from this experience. Can you give yourself the opportunity to be even more present, to enjoy every moment as it comes, to honor what is exactly as it is, from this place of beauty and love and acceptance in our hearts, we experience joy. This is the true essence of joy that is ananda, that is bliss, that is absolute bliss. Take a deep, deep, deep breath in, and as you exhale, release the hands down. And now shake it out like we did at the beginning. Let go and notice how much lighter you might feel now as you move the arms around, as you move the arms and the shoulders and the legs and shake out the feet and the toes. Just notice any tension that might be in the body and allow it to shake out now. Allow it to move its way out of your body, knowing that you've started to release this energy by simply being present and allowing what is to be exactly as it is. We've allowed ourselves to feel more freedom more essence. Come back to the center of your mat as you feel ready, and then gently float the arms up again into Utkatasana. Exhale, float down, reaching the arms back. Uttanasana. Inhale, float back to Utkatasana, and exhale, open up the heart. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Joy, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Bliss, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, trust, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, acceptance, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hold, presence, hold, feel the light shining out through your fingertips from your heart, know that you are the light of consciousness, you are the light that is creating every moment of beauty in your life, accept all the beauty that surrounds you accept nature's wisdom that is guiding you. Hold this moment deeply in your heart. Take a deep breath in to all that is. And with presence, gently exhale, slowing down our practice, lowering again to Utkatasana, finding that light guiding us up, and then exhale, floating down Utkatasana or Uttanasana. As we inhale, we lift up, and find that length, and gently exhaling, stepping back, lowering down knees, chest, and chin, chaturanga. Inhale, floating through to up dog or cobra one last time, and exhale, floating over the knees or toes to down dog. One last time as you feel yourself here in this down dog. Notice what you've released, 
that has allowed you to feel more freedom, more joy, more, more happiness, and more bliss in this moment. Believe in the magic that you are. Believe in the magic that surrounds you, that is guiding you. And know that you are pure positive energy and that light is flowing through you like a stream, a river of joy. Let yourself be fully present here as you inhale, come up on the toes and exhale, gently drop down to the knees. Inhale, gaze up for a moment, gently arching in the spine and exhaling, sinking back to child's pose. Inhale, shifting forward, lengthening, curve gently in the spine. Exhale, sinking back to modified child's pose. One last time, inhaling. Let your movement be guided by an inner stillness. Exhale, sink into child's pose fully now here, either keeping the knees together or keeping or spreading them nice and wide, wherever you'd like to be to feel the full expression here of that sense of presence. Dropping into the third eye, feeling the message that the hummingbird has given us today. This message of presence as we pause in our child's pose. Feel yourself fully present in this moment, in this place of stillness. Feel the stillness within. Feel the heart open and expanded. Your creative bliss shining forth your ability to sing, dance, pray, your ability to feel light and joy, your ability to create art, magic, poetry, song. You have everything within to express your creative being through your bliss and joy. Stay in the state of presence to receive that which is ready to emerge from within. Feel into your callings, into your gifts, and know that you are one and you are perfectly aligned with this divine presence. Take a deep cleansing breath in and exhale, release out all the air. Inhale, begin to roll up through the spine one vertebra at a time, letting the head be the last thing to rise. As you come up, slowly begin to rise up onto the knees, inhaling, lift up through the heart, keeping the knees about hip width apart if they're not already. Slowly exhale and bring the hands back behind you at your sacrum with the fingertips facing up. Engaging through Mula Bandha and through the abs, slowly press the hips forward, drawing the elbows back toward each other and smiling as you shine the heart forward. Feel into this stillness, into this presence, into the gifts that the hummingbird has shared with us today. As we exhale, we'll release the posture, sink down into the hips, hips down under the heels, inhale the arms up overhead. And then exhale, swooping the arms down and back, up and around as we come back up onto the knees, onto the shins. Exhale, bringing the hands back behind the hips again. This time, feel free if you'd like to curl the toes behind you and go ahead and reach for the heels. Extending your camel forward, lifting the heart open and letting the head draw back slightly to create a gentle curve in the cervical spine. Taking whichever variation feels most comfortable for your body today, sending the hips forward, guiding the heart open, taking one more breath here, and then slowly, if the hands are at the heels, draw them back to the hips. Inhale the arms up, flatten out the feet and slowly drop the heels back down, sinking down, hips to heels, and then inhale up once again. As you lift up this time, you can either stay here with the hands at the hips, or feel free to curl the toes, reaching back for the heels, or taking the full expression of camel, you may leave the feet flat on the floor and reach back for the heels here. Wherever you are, honor your body, honor your breath. 
and know that you are in divine presence. You are supported. You are loved. You are in this, in this expanded state of beauty and joy. From whichever version you have taken here, slowly begin to make your way back up, standing up on the shins and the knees, flattening out the feet, inhale, swooping the arms up as the hips drop down, and exhale, let the hands reach all the way down here to touch the floor. You can keep the hips, the heels underneath the hips here if you'd like, or you may let them slide out to the side slightly if that feels okay on your knees with the hips resting down either on the heels or on the earth. The hands are going to begin to walk us back gently. So just coming to a place that feels comfortable to align and lengthen through the spine, tucking the tailbone slightly, creating more length here, and then slowly letting the head drop back to where you feel comfortable. Maybe the elbows draw down to the ground. Wherever you are, make sure not to overextend through the neck, but try to keep that neck in alignment with the rest of the spine. Keep the heart lifted. Keep the smile radiating. Feel the presence of this moment. One last breath here. And as we exhale, we'll slowly begin to make our way up to center, shifting our weight forward, crossing our ankles behind us, and then drawing the weight back over the heels to sit back on the hips, drawing the knees into the chest with the toes just gently tapping on the earth, tapping, fluttering your hummingbird toes on the earth. Feel the essence as you lift up your heart and then exhale, planting the feet on the floor. Slowly lift the hands up overhead and exhale, begin to roll down one vertebra at a time, taking your time to slowly release anything that you may have held on to anything that still hasn't been able to release, let it move out into the earth as you drop down into her. Know that you are here to be received in this garden of flowers upon which you lie. Let the feet rest out to the outer width of your mat and the knees drop in to touch each other. See where you can soften the rest of the body, soften the muscles around the face, soften the forehead, soften the jaw. Relax the shoulders, the chest, and the belly. Relax the hips. Let yourself be embraced by this garden of flowers. Rest in the beauty. Let all your senses enjoy this moment. a gentle smile on the lips. Gently begin to let the knees swivel side to side, windshield wiping one knee in when the other flows out and vice versa. Gently shifting side to side. Take a couple more swivels as you relax still the rest of the body and then walking the feet into parallel, pressing down through the feet and gently lifting the hips up off the floor, taking the hands underneath the hips to support yourself here in a supported bridge. Feel that gentle curve in the spine as you press down through the feet and lift up through the hips and the heart, smiling into the presence of this moment knowing that everything you have is everything you need. You have created this life in order to live your dreams in abundance, in joy, in freedom, and in bliss. Feel the fullness of this moment without wanting it to be any other way. As you keep pressing down through the feet and keep the, li the hips lifted, slowly begin to release the hands out from underneath you rolling down through the spine one vertebra at a time and then gently drawing the knees into the chest, wrapping the arms around the legs and just gently rocking side to side. Finishing our practice here with Ananda Balasana. Ananda in Sanskrit means bliss. 
So this posture takes us into happy baby, feeling the bliss and the joy of this moment. We're going to reach the feet out to the sides, reaching for the outer edges of the feet and letting the knees drop in to the sides of the rib cage. As we take this nice wide expansion in our legs, we feel the presence, the pleasure of this moment. Let yourself rock a little bit side to side. Let yourself flutter in your hummingbird bliss, knowing that there's nothing you need to do other than soak in the beauty that surrounds you. Feel the harmony that already exists, the divine perfection that already is. Let yourself be embraced by this beauty. Let the balance and bliss wash over you. Receive, stay in this receptive state of presence. Experience bliss now. And as you feel complete, carry that blissful state with you as you draw the feet together, draw the knees back together, plant the feet to the floor, lengthen through the spine and begin to extend the legs out into Shavasana, letting all that bliss and joy and beauty come into the state of presence in our final resting pose. Smile into your heart and let that smile fill every cell of your being now. You are the light. Let that river of light flow through you. Feel the essence of the hummingbird. Feel the joy. <clears throat> Feel your radiant bliss, love, trust, and acceptance. Tata hawara, tata hawara, wahi kinani. 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 Hamme na ke yamme po, 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 hamme na ke penda, hamme na ke penda, penda penda, penda po ta ta, penda penda, penda po ta ta, to da a, to da a, to da a, to da a, to da. Feeling the lightness <clears throat> of our being as we carry this beauty within, we begin to awaken the body, letting the arms float up overhead, <clears throat> fluttering fingers and toes, moving that energy up and out, and then slowly beginning to make our way to draw the knees into the chest as we roll over to one side. 
taking your time to make your way back up to a comfortable seated position as we come back to sit up tall where we begin our practice we feel the essence of the hummingbird so deeply within us now we ground down through our sit bones and at the same time we feel that light shining up through the crown we feel this river flowing through us this river of joy that is our birthright we let our hands come to our heart center as we bow our heads preparing to close this practice we give so much thanks to the joy within we give thanks to the essence of who we are, the beauty of that which we are calling in, all of our gifts, all of our light, our creativity, all of our joy and our passions being expressed, our sensitivity, all of the things that we have been given, we honor and we cherish. We bow to the essence of the hummingbird, the great colibri, the element of air, our breath, each moment. We trust the cycle of life. We trust this medicine wheel. We trust the winds of the north guiding us to be present on this journey. We allow ourselves to receive fully the message and the wisdom of the hummingbird. We honor where we are. We draw in more things that create bliss in our lives. And we thank you, dear hummingbird, colibri, siwakente, for guiding us on this journey today. With so much gratitude, we close this practice with the sound of Om and three shantis, taking a deep cleansing breath in and a cleansing breath out and breathing into Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bowing to ourselves, to one another, and the great teachings of the hummingbird. May you carry this forth, this beauty, this harmony, grace, joy, and perfect, perfect divine balance into your day. Om Shanti. Peace. Namaste. Aho. Uh -huh.